Good day ladies and gents, today I was having a day off but as soon as I came home BSG posted some updates and I decided to make a video to make sure all of you stay updated so let's get straight to the point. New balancing changes to the Tarkov. Change the ammo crafting recipes for SS190, BT, SPP, PS12B, APSX. Thanks to logical solutions we know what the changes are. So changes to the ammo are as follows. If you want to craft SPP bullets you need to put in only 50 BT bullets. Uh, however, you need to put two more kite gunpowders in. Crafting SCP bullets, you need more laser mesh bullets. However, production time was decreased. PS12 B bullets, uh, you need 120 PS12 A. And the craft count goes to 80. This is good, because if you like crafting, crafting PS12 B bullets and you get only 60, that was a very low amount. So that's a good change. APSX, you need more subsonics, you need less uh, gunpowder. Uh, production time is uh, literally halved and you get more bullets. SS-190 you need more SS-197 SR bullets and the craft count goes to 180 as well. And if you craft BT bullets you need one gunpowder kite and production time went down by 6 hours which is a good thing. Also there is a change to the Terra Group Labs Violet keycard which you can craft in your hideout However, I don't really know if it's worth it, because if we go and check the craft, there it is. You need one, um, one RFID, right? That's like 50k, whatever. You need 10 key cards. that's 1.6 million, let's say. You need one yellow for Intel folders and one magnetic tape. And after 126 hours, which is like, what, a week? Around, around a week, I guess, um, six days. You get violet key card. But if we check yellow on the flea, yellow is 8.7 million and violet is 8.9, you know, stonks, not stonks. I guess the only reason to do this craft if like, I don't know, if you have like, if you have like a yellow key card f not found in raid, maybe there is a reason, but overall, I don't know, this, this still looks like a scam. It's cheaper to buy violet on the flea. Another change is that you can buy two access keycards from Therapist instead of one. That is a great change and I think this is only the beginning of changes to labs. I Let me buy, let me buy the keycards because I love to play labs. I truly believe that BSG will be changing the amount of loot in the locked rooms. And one of my mods told me that the prices for colored keycard already, already skyrocketing. 70 million for green, uh, only one available on the flea. Uh, Violet went up in price as well. Red is 60 mil. Yeah, prices are going up for the key cards. And I really believe that BSG should buff and uh, nerf some of the rooms. For example, green, red, um, blue and yellow should be buffed because there isn't enough loot in them. Violet should stay more or less the same. And black definitely needs nerfing. I believe there is too much loot in black. Uh, yep, yep, I... <laughs> I usually don't say that something needs to be nerfed in Tarkov, but I think in this case, whenever you open black, you get so many stims. On some of the occasions, I managed to get 12, maybe even 14 stims from one black room, and I believe this is too much. I think whenever you open black, the minimum amount of stims you should be looting is 3, average should be like 5, 6, and maximum amount should be 8. But anything more than 8 stims from one raid from black, I feel like that's a bit too much. And... You can also get Ladixes from Black. So, like, if you go to Black and you get Ladix and, like, 11 additional stims, I feel like that's a bit too much. So, in my opinion, Black needs a little nerf. However, all the other rooms, especially Blue, especially Blue, they need a serious buff. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and write a comment down below for the YouTube algorithm. And we are done with the news. I'll have to keep those videos short. Thank you so much for watching. I'll have to keep those videos short. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.